with the cappers, gamblers, punters. Que pasa luta? Que pasa mama? What up, sports fans? It's Monday, October 16th. Feels like a good day to make a little cash. That's right. Our country, one people. We celebrate so much today. First off, we celebrate a national holiday, but secondly, I did not make any fucking money yesterday because of a freak fucking accident. I was going for 10 out of 12 days in profit. Instead, nine out of 12, which is fucking bullshit. You know what it takes to stop my winning streak? Fucking Aaron Rodgers breaking his collarbone. Throws $375 down the toilet, but I still feel very good. We had a profitable Saturday, profitable Friday. We're having a profitable October. So I'm not gonna let one freak fucking injury bring me down. And also, today is a national holiday for us Costa Ricans, and we celebrate, and it's called Dia de las Culturas. It's so exciting. We celebrate the founding of the Americas by Christopher Columbus, or as we call him down here, Cristobal Colon. It is called Dia de las Culturas because we celebrate all the cultures that Christopher Columbus brought to us from the old world. Cultures like Hooters. I think it's fair to say that if Christopher Columbus didn't make it to these shores, there would be no Hooters. This place would probably be called the Inca Barn or some shit like that. And yes, the servers would probably be bare-chested, but they'd all be men. Don't fucking fly out of here. We are also celebrating my new Costa Rican national jersey. We are celebrating our fifth World Cup. Made it to the quarterfinals in 2014. Now Brian Ruiz is taking us to the fucking golden land. Get your fucking bets in now. Get them in now, because Costa Rica is going to win the World Cup in 2018, and I'll be fucking rich. Rich, I tell you. We are also celebrating Hannah Gabrielle's victory on Friday night. What a fucking heart she had. What a strong chin she had. She took out Oxandia Castillo in a decision. Unanimous decision, 10 rounds, it was a fucking battle. And we were there to watch every second of it. Our video about that fight will come out today and you will fucking love the footage. There's fucking mayhem in that place. It was the funnest night I've had so far here in Costa Rica. Now, today's card is very complicated. That's right. There's only three games on the card, but it is a very difficult card. First off, let's go with baseball. I have a bet that I will be putting in. I'm making two straight bets at $150 a pop today. First one is I'm taking over four and a half in the first five innings. I will tweet all this action out in a little bit. I think that Sabathia and Morton are, are susceptible to being touched. Sabathia, first off, as, as a lefty, we know the Astros smash lefties. Morton is susceptible too. Neither of them got through five innings in their last playoff start. So I like the first five over four and a half because they both have really good bullpens, especially the Yankees. And you know when they get in any trouble, they'll bring in some of these guys that are just going to shut it down. So I've got that action. I also, I'm leaving the hockey game alone. It's a very tough one. The Lightning are coming into the Red Wings, coming into the new barn they have in Detroit. What the fuck? Jesus Christ, I'm trying to shoot over here. They're trying to come into a very difficult place to play, we think. It's a brand new building. Detroit has way more depth than I thought they were gonna have. I thought the problem with Detroit was all gonna be forward depth, and I didn't think their defense was that good. Their top four is very good, and guys like Mantha, Anthony Mantha, six foot five, 2013 first rounder, he's really, really good. They have way more depth than I expected. Now, I think Lightning are one of the top three or four teams in the National Hockey League. If I had to make a bet on this, I would take the Lightning, but I'm not going to. There's not enough value taking this road favorite, so I'm gonna leave that game alone. They're both playing well. Lightning just got off a 3-0 homestand, and the Red Wings just got off a 3-1 road trip where they came back in their last two victories. So I'm gonna leave that game alone. I am, though, gonna take the plus seven and a half that the Indianapolis Colts are offering tonight. Mariota is going to play, but will he re-injure himself? I love the way Brissett's playing. I think the Colts keep it close. Okay, now I know the card is not exciting, so let's get into something that is fucking exciting, and that's that the NBA season starts tomorrow. I can't fucking wait. Two mammoth games going off. We have the Celtics, Cavs, Rockets, Warriors. I'm so excited, and I'm gonna drop my futures action for you guys right now. First off, okay, so I have five $100 bets and two $200 bets are my futures action. First off, $100 on Yanis and to the Kumpo to win the most valuable player in the NBA this year at plus 900. I have $100 on Ben Simmons to win Rookie of the Year at plus 300. 
I have $100 on the Brooklyn Nets to win over 26 and a half wins at minus 140. I like Russell, Crab, Carroll. I think they're a nice. I think it's a much better team. I think there'll be a little hope in the dressing room. I really need them to win off the top because as the season goes on, you know Carroll's going to hurt his knee and they're going to go a little south. So I'm hoping on early wins for the Nets and I think we'll find value on them. I'm also taking the Pacers under 31 and a half wins at minus 110. I really like Collison, but is Oladipo really going to do all the scoring? I don't think so. Then I like the Raptors over 48 and a half wins at plus 100. I like the Raptors nucleus. I always have. I think they're going to win 50 games this year. Then I have two $200 bets. First off, Warriors under 67 and a half wins at minus 110. And the Grizzlies over 37 and a half wins with Conley and fucking Marcus Soul leading the fucking way. You motherfucker. You try and come back, man. Hard to hit these flies. There's no Costa Rican baseball players out here. How you guys doing? You have yourself. Yes! Fuck yeah, man. World Cup! World Cup! Uh, let me know what you're hitting today, man. Hit me on Twitter. Also, on our YouTube forum, let me know what you're hitting. Let's get this cash. NBA season starts tomorrow, man. Fatter pockets, harder sluts. Leche en los bookmakers. Leche en los bookmakers.